here. Call it example three. I have 14.6 grams of potassium chloride and it is dissolved in 400 milliliters of water. What is the molarity of this solution? Molarity, another word for it, concentration. What's the concentration of this solution in moles per liter? What's the molarity? What's the molarity. Okay, well, what's our definition of molarity? So molarity is equal to the moles of solute, which in this case is KCl, divided by the liters of solution, which in this case is water. So all I need to do is find a denominator, find a numerator, do my division, and I'm done. Well, I know that the volume is the easiest one. It's 400 milliliters, but since the unit is liters, I'll just convert that to liters, which is 0 0.400 liters. And now I need to find how many uh, how many moles of potassium chloride? I wasn't given moles, I was given grams, but of course I can convert by using the molar mass. So let's do that. 14.6 grams of KCl times one mole of it happens to weigh 74.55 grams. And when you do that division, you end up with 0 0.1958 mole of KCl. This is the number that goes up there. 0 0.1958 mole of KCl dissolved in 0.4 liters. I do the division and I end up with, what is my number? 0 0.49, 0 0.49 moles per liter or I can put 0 0.49 molar. That's, we often say molar solution. So that's it. Molarity is just a way of talking about how many moles of something there are floating around in liquid, in a solution, more often than not water. Uh, because when I drop something in water, more often than not it'll dissolve. I want to know how many moles are actually floating around. If I keep the volume the same but I dump in five times as many moles, now I'm five times as concentrated, which is why they also refer to molarity as concentration. How concentrated is this particular solution? And this 0.49 tells me that in one liter of solution, I have 0.49 moles of potassium chloride floating around. Now, potassium chloride floating around. Potassium chloride is made of one, one atom of potassium, one atom of chloride. So I have one mole of potassium floating around and one mole of chloride floating around. Okay, so stoichiometry is really, really important. Again, this dissolves. 